Richard wrote in. He said, hi, guys. I have heard you talk about tail scale a few times, and I'm still confused. What I believe that I understand is that tail scale creates a VPN between your devices, and instead of routing info through a VPN servers, it uses my computer as the server. What I don't understand is, does this protect me on a public Wi-Fi network, like a restaurant, airport, hotel, etc.? Sorry for being dense about this, but I am confused. Okay, Richard, uh, love the show, a weekly listener for years. Richard, uh, Richard, don't be sorry for being dense. It's, it's what I do best, and we wouldn't have a show if everybody wasn't a little dense at some point in time here. You know, I mean, we'd just be three guys sitting here talking for no reason. So, yep. And we are all dense at times too. Like it, it, it's, yeah. it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, we're all in this together. Your question, Richard, is a great question um, because it is confusing, and and also because the over overly simplified answer to your question of does it protect me is best stated as no, yes, and maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm not gonna leave us there. And don't but, forget, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, right. Like that. Yeah, and and so I think we need to dig into what tail scale is. And I, I I understood this, but I did not know how best to present it. So I actually uh, employed my friend, my friendly assistant, Chat GPT, to help me come up with the right terms to use to describe tail scale. And to think about tail scales. So this, what I'm about to share is something that is is a is a a collaboration between me and the AI, right? Because first and foremost, tail scale. The the, the way I I want to think about it for now is that tail scale creates a mesh network of sorts. What that means is each of your devices logged into your tail net, so logged into tail scale, running the tail scale client can connect directly to each other without needing to be on the same network, nor to have all your traffic routed through a central VPN server. So it's like you're all on the same local network in terms of how you can just connect to each other, but you don't have to be. And that's the main use case of tail scale is having this group of your devices. And it can be shared in a company if you want, like you can go pretty wide with this. But having a group of your devices that all can just see each other as though they are local all the time, no matter where any given device might be at that no, point. In no time. opening ports, no port forwarding. No. Exactly. Uh, right. Uh, it's all right. magic. It's 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 using wire guard at its core. Yeah. But um and 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 to, to to dig in a little deeper, all that traffic is encrypted and secure, regardless of where any of your devices are. Uh, because the traffic between your devices is always encrypted and protected. That means when you're on a public Wi-Fi network, yes, you are protected as long as you're talking to one of your other devices. But if you're just visiting your bank, that's not by default, that's not going through your tail net. And so that traffic is visible by the local network that you're on. Now that traffic to your bank is also going to be encrypted between you and your bank, but they'll be able to see that you're visiting your bank. That's, that's as far as it can go, right? Like they can see the, the address you're, you're doing. That's all by default. So there's no traffic anonymization that a normal VPN might bring when you're using tail scale. You can, however, designate one or more devices on your tail net as an exit node. What that means is you can route traffic through it so long as that device is turned on. And wherever that device is, that's where your traffic will appear to have come from. So I leave one of my disk stations here on my local network as an exit node, and I can turn that on and route through it, and it works great, uh, sort of great. I, 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 I want to put an asterisk on that and come back to it. But th that's that's how... It works. So it is a mesh. Think of it as a, a network mesh, not a mesh network because it's not Wi-Fi. Right. But it is it is this, you know, it's this distributed land, if you will. But that starts getting really confusing. Like, what the heck does Dave mean when he says distributed land? So that's why I like this mesh idea. Everybody's talking to each other no matter where they are, so long as they're logged into your tail net. 